Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for attending there. My name is KK Chen. I'm representing the Pili Baba International. Um, thank you very much for coming to this webinar. I, I it's, it's actually my great honor to serve you, to give you this introduction about, uh, about uh, um, e-commerce in China. And, and of, you know, any of you guys want to sell products in China, I think Pili Baba is here to help. To give you a very short introduction about Pili Baba, uh, we are an international technology company based in China. We're relatively new. We're only business solution providers. We we develop you know one of the API, and then this API can actually solve you so many questions, so many uh, like troubles if you want to sell product in China, uh, which I'm going to, you know, give you more details in the future in, a, in, in, in the next slides during my presentation. So uh, I'm going to just uh, go ahead and start off today's uh, presentation by giving you some, uh, some, some, some knowledge about, uh, about e-commerce in China. And I will reach out you know, reach out your email and I'll give you more information towards the, um, you know, afterwards. So uh, this is the uh, penetration uh, of, you know, this is actually the numbers of a uh, Chinese internet group people. So uh, you see from uh, 2005 to 2014, the internet people in China has a big jump you know, year by year. Um, what, you know, to be frankly, from 2003 to 2014, the numbers of Chinese internet people just jumped eight times, which is reaching 649 million, you know, people in China, which is compared to the total population of UK, France, Germany, and Italy together only about like 270 million. So um, the internet people in China actually, that's already like 2.5 times bigger than the you know, total population of those four countries. And moreover, from those giant group of Chinese web surfing people group, we found out the number of people who has online shopping experience has just a rich Six hundred and I'm sorry, three hundred and sixty-one million. So, uh, so that's probably about one quarters of the whole Chinese population is actually having, um, you know, some online shopping experience. So, those people already now. So this is. This is a table of 2010 to 2014 Chinese e-commerce GMV. So uh, here by 2005, the China domestic e-commerce GMV has was was about a 18.2 thousand billion RMB, which is a 39 percent you know increase than year of 2014. And Chinese e-commerce authority just announced that the year 2016 will be another 20 to 30 percent increase. So uh, we're soon to expect that China keep holding the number one position of global e-commerce. And uh, if any of you guys just uh, read, you know, um, some, some, some magazines or, or if you're familiar with Mary Meek, um, you know, presentation, she is pretty good at, uh, you know, internet, internet group, uh, internet, um, like analysts. She just uh, said, you know, this year India is the second largest e-commerce market over past the U.S. You know, um, this year. So China is number one in globe, and then uh, India is actually the second, and U.S. actually, you know, um, is the third largest e-commerce you know country in globe. So. 
So here, actually, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, some knowledge about, you know, um, e-commerce e business in China, how it, how they develop, how, you know, how they from, uh, from, uh, from zero, um, you know, to, to like, you know, today's a huge GMV. Um, so look at this, uh, you know, uh, web page, even though it's yours, you know, it says in Chinese, but, uh, he actually just, uh, you know, what we call, this is an uh, e-commerce, like, you know, 1.0 1 .1 version. And this, this, this web page only, you know, what it, what it does is only gathering the information for, for both buyers and the seller, sellers. Um, it doesn't do much, you know, compared to today's e-commerce. They only actually establishing the, the bridge between, you know, the sellers and buyers. Uh, what it does is just, uh, you know, catalyzing the real transactions um, b between, you know, those two parties. But it's, what, is, what is actually um, left behind is this web page doesn't do anything imperfectional. For example, if, if you, you want to know more about, you know, um, like, 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 like fashion industry, if we want to buy some clothing, if you want to buy some cosmetics, how this, you know, um, this simple page can help, it, it, it really cannot help you much. So you just have to find it out yourself. And, you know, from this web page, it also doesn't help you on any, like, payment and logistic issues. If you want to buy stuff, you know, uh, from a Chinese suppliers or if you want to sell to Chinese customers, you know, this, um, this very early stage, uh, E-commerce website doesn't really do much. It doesn't really help you. It doesn't really go deeper than just uh, gathering the information. And then, and then also the companies, you know, uh, the, the sellers and the buyers actually, it just uh, switching from online to offline when they finish the transaction. So um, this is very early early stage Chinese uh, e-commerce developing um, a website, what we call a 1.0 version. But when it jumped out from a 1.0 version to 2.0 2 version, they actually put some uh, a payment solutions into, into, you know, into the e-commerce. So uh, right now, I think both of you, or you know, I mean, all of you, will be familiar with like Alipay or like Union Pay, you know, those kind of you know big name uh, like paying method rather than just a Visa or Master, American Express or Discover. So in this stage, we put some payment solutions, try to help you know both parties to solve currency try to solve you know money issues here in china people are using rmb instead of uh, like usd so uh the payment solution really help you know both parties to receive you know whatever the currency they prefer and from a uh, version 2.0 to 3.0 other than just the information or payment get involved. We also put some logistic, you know, um, solutions into the e-commerce. So from 2013, China e-commerce platform just to add more functions such as, you know, logistic integration and more to provide, you know, more comprehensive services, which is great, which is actually helping, you know, both parties to, you know, to, 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 to like, you know, shorten the time, to like, you know, um, cut it off the middleman, to really help them to save money, you know. So here is the, so here is the, uh, the table that I give to you. That's the uh, China's cross-border volume, which is the, uh, the blue chart. And the green dots right here connected with 
Chinese uh, was China cross border pen penetration rate. So uh, on 2014, the penetration rate is only about like you know 14.2. So uh, I think all of you gotta be familiar with what it you know what a penetration penetration rate means, which means you know the higher penetration rate meaning harder to get into this market. So uh, on 2014, Chinese penetration rate into the e-commerce is only about like 14.2 percent, as opposed to America was about like 74 percent meaning you know to do an e-commerce business in America is pretty hard and then the, the global average um, e-commerce penetration rate I think I believe uh, was right around between like 47 percent to 49 percent so uh, China actually is a way behind the average you know penetration rate uh, in you know compared to other countries and I think this year 2016 the penetration rate in China is about like you know it's, it's about like 19 percent so uh, give you the idea of you know it's it's right now it's a good timing to do business in China so how can exporters to China avoid dark money culture okay I'm gonna go to that questions, you know, uh, later on. So here is the right dot connected as the foreign e-commerce business increase rate, which is clearly in indicate that we are currently seeing a high jump, you know, since 2012, along with you know 3.75 thousand billion RMB in 2014 we expect you know in this year 2016 the total amount uh, will be like 6.5 thousand R uh, just, I'm sorry 6.5 thousand billion RMB which is you know a huge money actually floating to floating to China so when we talk about uh, e-commerce it gotta be you know split up into two parts one is importing and another one is exporting so uh, I think today most of you guys are like merchants you want to sell products to China so I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and avoid exporting I'm going I'm gonna just uh, spend some time in like importing importing you know importing into China so I think that's you know something you guys are um, interested about so, uh, so speaking of, of the cross-border e-commerce, you already see that the red one here is exporting, the blue one here is importing. So, in the long term, the exporting still take the big part, but here today, you see the importing actually is rushed up a little bit, even though the importing take a small portion of the big cake we still see the importing is going to be has a huge potential in the future so here a year 2014 the total importing sales was 476.3 billion RMB which has 58 Point nine percent increase rate compared to 2013 and if we go deeper on the statistics the average compound annual growth rate what I call the GA I'm sorry CAGR -C rate from 2008 was about like 60 percent and a study showed that the majority of importing goods are clothing shoes milk formula cosmetics those category what about you know 35% of total sales. And please see the chart above. From 2012, the increase on the sales was dramatically fast. You see here. This is 2012, 13, and 14. This is going to be a huge jump. And we also expect 
on the 2017, the importing e-commerce sales will be reaching 1,000 billion RMB and the compound annual growth rate only from the 2000, 2000, you know, 2015 to 2017 will be reaching 35%. So why China domestic has, you know, this buying trend switch from uh, England to overseas? Let me read this one. Statistics are interesting, but what we really need to know is how to avoid customer issues shipping to China, right? Monthly limited per customer and how to take, how to make sure our site are not blocked place or wise. So here is going to be the pain points. Not only you have, but all the merchants will be reaching, will be having. First one is payment. You guys in America. So you want to receive um, USD. But Chinese people are actually paying RMB. So you want to have, you know, payment issues out. And also, second one, I think, you know, that's something you want to know because, you know, you, I think you are more concerned about, you know, logistic. You don't want to, you know, deal with Chinese customers. Neither do I. I don't want to you know, deal with Chinese customers, but uh, we have a solution for you. So just to stay tuned. I'm going to give you a brief, uh, I'm going to give you some, some solution later. And counterfeit. Some of you guys may think, you know, um, if your products import into China, how am I going to just avoid counterfeit? There's a lot of counterfeit issues in China. You know, you, you see Nike, you see Adidas, you see, you know, uh, you know those um, uh, like clothing or shoe companies just uh, fight with, you know, counterfeit every day. How are you going to avoid like counterfeit? And also the government and customer regulations. That's, you know, sounds really complicated. You don't want to deal with Chinese government. You don't want to deal with, you know, so complicated Chinese customer regulations and price. As you think, you know, maybe in China, they just charge, you know, really cheap price. How are you going to make margin? How are you going to make money? Customer service. You have no idea about Mandarin. You probably don't have any idea about, you know, can Cantonese. How are you going to deal with customer service? Do you have to hire a guy, you know, speaking Chinese? You know, that's kind of thing. Or then also the time difference. So here in China right now, it's one o'clock in the morning. And I think, you know, the Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time is it's one o'clock afternoon. That's going to be like 12 hours time difference. How are you going to deal with customers in China? And you actually have representatives already fall asleep. Language, you know, just uh, what I uh, mentioned earlier, how you going to do with, you know, um, like language barriers. Those are all, you know, pain points um, for for not only just the Chinese e shopper, but also for, you know, merchants like you in America. You want to sell, but here's a pain point how you, go, how you going to overcome. Again, same thing here. For the global merchants, you're actually encountering you know same uh, same difficulties as uh, as as Chinese e-shoppers. They want to buy stuff overseas. How are you going to give them you know the excellent service? You know there's a lot of things you want to just uh, uh you know keep in mind. Doing business e-commerce, doing you know doing business in China, it's not easy. And there's a lot of things you have to you have to deal with in order to sell uh, products to Chinese customers. And this, I mean, when I say it's not easy, it's really not easy because, you know, uh, not just uh, one issue you need, to, you, need to, you need to solve. There's, you know, tons of, you know, issues, tons of difficulties you probably have never, have, have you know, never thought about. But actually, it's, it's been around, it's existing there for, for, for forever. So you need someone to help you out. You need someone to help you to solve those questions. So here comes, here comes us, Pili Baba. So I'm gonna just uh, give you a customer flow, customer buying journey. How are you going to use Pili Baba service to purchase stuff overseas? Like you know from your website. So here is the Chinese customers. They go online directly to your store. They find something interesting. They want to purchase it. They just uh, add items into the shopping cart. But instead of using your checkout button, they're using our API, which is already integrated with X card. 
which means you can only just uh, download from the uh, X card on like you know, you know marketplace, integrate to your website. So just uh, our, our Chinese customers were just uh, using um, Pilibaba payment uh, to purchase. We also take care. Of, we also have a fulfillment center in the U.S. So when you guys receive the money from uh, from you know from 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 the Chinese e shoppers, when you re already receive the money, you just uh, ship the items to our warehouse. Our warehouse is is in um is it's in Delaware. Well, um, it's it's on the East Coast. Uh, we, I think we're soon we'll have a a West Coast um warehouse. You know um in Oregon. I can't tell you the time, but uh, it's definitely on our business plan. Do you have to do you have to be using X card? Well, not only X card, we also integrate our API with uh, with the other platforms. But I think you know since today is X card's webinar, I'm I'm not going to just uh, disclose. I'm not going to you know disclose the other names, but uh, um. I, I'll, I'll definitely send you the information afterwards. So let's just go ahead and reset X car. Um, okay. So yeah. So uh, yeah, we already uh, integrate our API with X car. So when merchant, as you guys receive the money, just to go ahead ship the you know products to our Delaware warehouse, and from there we're going to take care of all the rest. You guys don't have to deal with anything. There's nothing change on your website. What we do is we have plane, we have you know aircraft, we have airplanes, um, you know flying from Delaware to China every day. We take care of all the international shippings. We take care of all the uh, Chinese customer clearance, and then also we take care of the, uh, you know, the last delivery to our end customers. So customer will be happy because they don't have to using you know. Visa card or Master card, they can just uh, using their Union Pay card. So I just don't want to give you um, a very. I just want to give you um, a heads up. You know, 95% of Chinese customers don't have Visa card or Master card. What they use, you using what they call a Union Pay, and Union Pay is the uh, the most welcomed, the uh, you know the most used uh, payment. Like payment method, payment solution in China, and we are also the uh, Union Pay strategic partner in China. So uh, we pretty much, you know, cover all all the, you know, um, the Chinese banks, which means, you know, every customers can just be using their debit card, the bank debit card, to purchase, you know, stuff um, directly from a from an American website, which is great. So they don't have to deal with any like you know currency conversion problem. They don't have to deal with you know a, a, a money issues. You just go ahead paying. You know they're using their RMB. What happened if the product get lost? We actually uh, we actually um, have insurance for every package. And it actually is on Pilibaba's cost. So customers don't have to pay anything on the insurance. All the products, all the package, actually insured by Pilibaba, which means as a merchant, you don't have to worry about anything because you 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 guys already received the money. But as a customers, if any package get lost, we give you know we give uh we we are going to just refund it. So we're going to you know use our insurance to give uh, our customers full coverage. So our customers will be happy because they don't have to pay anything for extra insurance. And merchant don't have to worry about anything because you know um, our insurance also cover your you know parcel. So I hope that uh, you know kind of like answer your questions. And the insurance actually is on us. We just want to make sure all the packages are safe. We just want to make sure we you know we uh, we insure all the package. Make sure you know our customers are happy. So here is just uh, what it looked like, you know, um, on Pilibaba Pay. You see, here is the PayPal. Here is the, uh, you know, wire transfer. Right here, probably you can just image 
match this uh, like like you know Visa Visa Pay or like you know Amazon Pay. But this is you know what uh, what Pilibaba Pay look like. It's just a very simple plugins, but it can save you so many questions. Anyway, to verify Chinese delivery ad address, some of the delivery system is very confusing. What happened? It's undelivered. Our, we have, you know, our strategic partner um, specialized in Chinese market, and they had been around to deliver, to deliver you know, uh, merchandise from, uh, from America to China for years. So uh, we don't see so many, uh, we do, you know, we do see uh, undelivered, un undelivered products once in a while, but uh, that's really taking a small uh, percent. And also, when customer checked out, you know, uh, on 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 Pili Baba, they actually write it down all the address in Chinese, so you don't have to write it down anything. You don't have to write it down their address in English, which means when the package um, get into China, the you know the mailman will just uh, see the address in Chinese. They'll give you, they will, you know, it will give them you know um, a better idea where to deliver. Uh, if it you know if it compared to like you know English written uh, address. The Chinese, uh, you know, uh, Chinese mailman probably have, you know, problem to 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 verify the address. But uh, but uh, you know, here is you know what we do. We we our label actually, uh, uh, our label actually is is going to be all in in in, in Chinese. So uh, so we don't see so many undelivered products. Uh, only when the customers give us, you know, the error address, give you, give us, you know, some wrong address. But uh, but also uh, when 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 they, you know, um, checked out with Pili Baba using our API, they also give us, you know, the the cell phone numbers. So whenever it happens, we just, uh, you know, when the package is undelivered, we just uh, give, you know, give the customer a call, ask them, you know, where to to reason or, you know, how is it going to, you know, how is it going to uh, what they want to do, you know. So there's so many, so many way to solve this problem. So I don't think you know that's 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 something really bothering us. We sell products on pre-order with deposit until the product comes in. And the order are on hold, and we charge the balance plus shipping rate. Could Pili Baba be used for the deposit? Would it be clear to customer that shipping will happen later with the final invoice? Okay, uh, I don't have an answer for you right now, Alan, because you know, uh, as of right now, all our merchants using PD Baba service are just uh, buy and sell, buy and ship. So. Uh, I, you know, I understand that you know you just uh, take some deposit for some pre-order items, but uh, um, I need to I need to talk to the other people to make sure you know this is gonna be something we can do. Is that okay? I'm gonna get back to you later. But uh, sorry, as of right now, I don't have an answer for you because you know we have never see that problem. You know, see that um, business model like you guys, you know, today. Cool. Okay, right now, you ship four times and I got lost. Okay, wow. That's why I asked the question. Okay, that's fine. Because, you know, first of all, we have insurance. So, uh, you know, um, if you ship with us, you got lost, you got paid. And customer also will be happy because, you know, our insurance also covered their, their you know, product. So, uh, it shouldn't be a problem because, you know, uh, insurance does, does a lot. Yes, there's a tracking on the package. Yes, so uh, customers will just uh, see the real time, you know, tracking um, information on Pili Baba website. So uh, it's just uh, like you know the UPS, you know, tracking system. So um, our system tells them, you know, where the where the package is. You know, if uh, if, if if the package in the Chinese customers, they want to know. 
if the uh, package is on the way, they'll also know, yes, we do have a tracking system. Cool. So uh, so here comes the, uh, the payment thing. I'm going to just spend some time on the payment. So you might, you might have problem where you probably don't have uh, you know, a very clear idea of how, you know, how, how much the customers will, will, will have to pay for, for, for the item. So uh, we provide them the landed cost, landed price, which actually um, consists, consists of three parts. First, of, first one is the product, product price. For example, this product cost them 100 US, 100, 100 bucks. So first one is the product price. The second one is the duty and tax. China, duty and tax and the Chinese customer duty and tax. So here, when customer select something, and they have to choose right here as the uh, tax category. If the shoes, I think that's 10%? Shoes? OK, if the shoes is going to be like 30%, and cosmetics is going to be like right around like 30% to 50%. Really depends on, you know, what kind of is the liquid or it's, uh, you know, is, you know, something else. And last one is the international um, air freight cost. We charge really competitive, you know, um, international air freight cost, which is compared to UPS or FedEx is going to be like at least 40 to 50%, you know cheaper for the same weight. Um, you know, we charge, we charge actually, we only charge by weight. We don't charge by, you know, the size. So I think the first pound, well, first pound of uh, merchandise, uh, we'll charge them only five bucks. For example, um, if your, if the package shipped from you guys weighed about like three pounds, the international um, air shipping, cost to the end customers will only bother like you know 15 bucks uh if you're using like ups or fedex it's going to be at least 40 to 50. so we really give the customers competitive uh like international air free price cost is there any available list for forbidden products well yes definitely we do have, you know, uh, we do have something that uh, we don't, we don't, we don't take delivery for sure, because you know, if we take delivery to Chinese customers, it definitely get rejected. So, um, yeah. So yes, we do. I, then no, no, I can give you the forbidden list as well. I'm not quite sure it's going to be a forbidden list or it's the list. Uh, you know, it's it's a gray list. The gray list meaning. Yes, you probably can, you probably can't. Uh, I think, you know, uh, right from right now, I think, you know, Chinese customers just to give a, a new regulation, meaning the merchandise, all the products in the white list, it's, it's okay to ship. Anything, anything else other, other than in the white list is forbidden. I have to, you know, double check with that. Um, yes, but uh, I think, you know, uh, all the consumer goods are pretty welcomed, you know, to import into into China. So if you don't sell like 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 gun or like you know some fireworks, you know that's that's uh, flammable, you know, products. I think you'll be. All right. So here is the uh, fulfillment service that we provide. Again, let me just uh, refer to our first uh, service as a payment. We do, you know, we do currency conversion. So uh, when customer paying in RMB, we just uh, do the currency conversion. So as a merchant, you just uh, go ahead and receive your, um, you just uh, receive the money in, in, in US dollars. And the second service that we provide is the international, you know, logistic. Okay, so you, you sell high-end toys and collect, collectibles. Recently, we have been having issue with customers in mainland China. Is there placed an order above 150 before shipping has returned to us? What do we run into issue with? Yes, yes. Uh, let me tell you why. So, because uh, 
150 USD equivalent to to about like you know uh, about like a thousand RMB. So anything above one thousand RMB, you have to you have to really specify you know what's the items. You have to let the customer know the real cost of the items. You have to you know uh, you have to you have to pay the the duty in tax. And there's a lot of uh, Chinese customers, you know, buy stuff uh, for a price over 150 uh, bucks, but they tell the Chinese customers that's a gift, or that's something you know, only like three dollars or like five dollars. So uh, when this issue happens, Chinese customers will just open up the package and say, "Okay, this is not a gift. This is actually a merchandise." If the customers don't pay the duty tax, I'll return it. But with Pili Baba service, we actually, um, you know, you have to, you know, when customer pay, the landed cost actually um, included, included, you know, the duty tax. So a customer is already paying, you know, something to the Chinese customers before we take care of the international shipping. So uh, it won't happen to us, uh, like you know, the return issue that you already have. So uh, we have we, we don't see anything happen uh, so far that a customer order something from America get returned. Uh, what well, you don't have to declare anything. You know, this is actually the customers. Uh, like responsibility, we do see you know I do see a customers buying cosmetics, but uh, they tell the Chinese customers this is uh, this is something like you know this is a book because you know book only charge like ten percent for the duty tax, as opposed to like cosmetics charge you know cost like you know thirty or I'm sorry that's that's thirty percent for duty tax, but. That's actually customers' uh, like responsibility. If if they you know um, get checked by the Chinese customers, they have to pay you know pay something ex in in extra. So we do encourage our customers just to uh, tell the truth. But this you know something kind of like hard to control. But you know but anything happened you know in the Chinese customers actually that's a customers are. Uh, um, Responsibility. It's not merchant's fault. There's a monthly maximum limit per person. Well, it's not a monthly. I don't think that's monthly. Um, I think that's something that, like you know, um. Well, I think that's uh. Let me let me let me just let me recall my memory. That's something else, but definitely that's not a monthly maximum limit per person. I think you know if the value of the package is too high, if it's over like five thousand RMB, uh, equivalent to like eight hundred um, dollars, uh, you got some trouble because you know customers Chinese customers. We'll really have to see what is in, what is inside. We we do have you know customers buying something from America, uh, you know for some high end or luxury goods like you know like handbag stuff like that. And we just uh, you know really encourage you know our, our customers to to you know separate the package into you know different boxes, different parcels. So uh, you know. To kind of you know, lower the risk uh, when they go through the Chinese, but uh, yeah, we do we do give our customers some 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 advice uh, when they ship you know stuff overseas, but um, but I I don't think that's a, that's a, a monthly limit per customer. For Canadian dollar, uh, I think. Currently, we're supporting like twelve currencies. Uh, just a moment, I have to 
let me just check my uh check my computer real quick. And then the answer is yes, we do support like Canadian dollar. We do support USD, Canadian dollar, British pound, Euro, Japanese yen, you know, Hong Kong dollar, um yeah, and Australia dollar, yes, we do. We do support um Canadian dollar. Oil penny, I don't know. I would say at least the pen ten percent. My colleague just told me the oil penny is about like thirty percent for the duty tax. Okay, let me just move on. Um, so here is the uh, you know fulfillment uh, journey. Here is the seller. They just uh, go ahead, you know, ship the products to our warehouse, and that's it. Our fulfillment uh, service will just, uh, you know, fly to to the Chinese customers. And by the way, we have twelve warehouses globally. We have, you know, we have one in in America. We have, uh, you know, we have uh, a UK warehouse. We have Germany warehouse. We have uh, Hong Kong. Japan, Korea, we have a uh, Taiwan, we'll soon have uh, Australia, we'll have a, uh, you know, Canada warehouse. But as of right now, we do, we do have, you know, our warehouse pretty much covers, um, you know, the most developed e-commerce countries. So, yeah, we do, we we'll definitely have, you know, warehousing uh, in America. So uh, from our warehouse, we, you know, we take the package, fly to, to China, we, you know, we we help on the Chinese customer clearance, and then to send to the uh, you know consumers a place, and that's all uh, included into our you know international logistic service, which means merchant don't have to deal with anything difficult uh, like you know um, international issue, international delivery issues, uh, Chinese customer regulations. I don't have to deal with any like you know. Uh, Anything else? I guess just uh, ship the product product to our warehouse by whichever you want to do, like ground shipping is fine, second day air is fine. You know, this is your call. Very easy. We actually take care of all the difficult part. We we will be bringing now the Pilibaba module for X cargo four point seven point six. Xcar 5 does not yet have enough module available due to new platform, so upgrading to version 5 is not a good choice currently for many customers. Sure, let me just go ahead and finish my uh, webinar so that I can answer all your questions at once. So a uh, second service that Pilibaba API provides is international shipping, which is actually a very big help. That help you know all the merchants don't have to deal with anything you know um, goes beyond um, you know the shipping scene outside of America because we take care of all the rest and also we help on the marketing. I think you know many of you guys probably think you know you your brand maybe have low brand awareness or probably have doesn't doesn't have so many people recognize uh, your brand your 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 products. Um, Peter Baba also here to help. We have a Pili Baba website, which is www.pilibaba.com. You guys are welcome to just uh, go online browse it. All the merchants that we um, cooperate, we we you know uh, we help them to design the web page. We help them to design the web banner. So uh, we actually collecting all the informations that you guys want to pass down to Chinese customers. Anything you wanna, any message you wanna tell Chinese audience, you just uh, give to us. All the marketing materials you want us to translate, give to us. We have a marketing team, you know, gathering all the information and then uh, just uh, do all the design. Um, you know, your your brand, uh, your brand um, sections in a, in a, in a place on you know, Pili Baba website. And also, we'll have newsletters sent into our um, you know, um, customers on on a weekly basis. We right now already have one red one million registered uh, 
uh, users. They are all active users. So they you know constantly browse our website every day. We have you know more than uh, like ten thousand clicks every day, which is uh, you know which contribute to different brand or different uh, clients. It's gonna be like more than five. 500 times, you know, five, 500 clicks every day, which means uh, by integrating our API, you'll get, you know, five, 500 clicks from uh, from China every day, um, which is, you know, great. Uh, we're going to launch our mobile app, you know, uh, middle of this year. It's right now developing, and uh, I think, you know. Um, Using mobile to do online shopping is also a buying trend. So uh, we're not gonna just let behind. You know that's something we are we're doing right now. And also, company put a lot of money to um, to like promote Pili Baba service in China market because um, Google actually is pro you know prohibited in China market. So we put a lot of uh, money investing our our service on Baidu. On the other searching engines, you know, um, because you know, uh, more people knowing the Baba will will have you know more people to just uh, you know um, go through Pili Baba to your uh, website to 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 go purchase. So uh, this is actually a win-win situation. So we we have to you know promote ourselves, meaning we have to promote you guys as well. And also, yeah, we're a strategic partner uh, with UnionPay, which is the uh, biggest um, payment uh, payment uh, provider in China. Which is UnionPay going to help us to like you know drive customers go browse our website. This is you know something uh, you know this is also part of our business plan. And the fourth the fourth service that we provide is customer service. Which means you don't have to hire any uh, any like Mandarin spoken representative. We have call center in China, so anything happened to the products, if customer have any concern, inquiry, or anything you know uh, they don't understand, call us first. Our call center is open. Uh, it's not. It's it's open from eight o'clock to ten o'clock. You know from uh from 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 morning to evening, uh five days a week. Uh, it will soon have uh, you. It will soon cover uh, twenty four seven. But right now, we 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 kind of like short of uh, uh, staff. So right now, it's uh, it's only uh, open for twelve hours a day. But uh, but uh, when we have more like clients or you know we have more merchants, uh, we'll definitely increase our uh, representatives to to have you know uh, some uh, more customer service. So. So again, as a merchant, you don't have to worry about anything, um, you know, uh, regarding to the to the to the to the products. We we'll help on, you know, um, answer all the questions regarding to the products, unless the products is defective. You know, that's something we can help. When that happens, you now we're going to contact our merchant and tell them, you know, this is this is, you know, the problems. You know, how are you going to deal with it? If you want to take return, then we just tell the customer to return the product. So here is, you know, um, like a wrap up. Pili Baba benefit. Your exi your exist ex existing website already um, already um, accept a Visa or Master on PayPal. Integrate with Pili Baba API. Nothing change, but just to give you one more payment option, a union pay. But with this um, payment option, we actually can help you to like generate people from China visiting your website, buying stuff from China, and you'll take care of all the transactions like domestic transactions. We're a commissionary based company. By using our API, we don't charge you for any like monthly fee. In installation fee, upfront fee, we only charge you 4.4 percent per successful transaction, which means if we can't help you to sell, we don't, we don't, we don't charge you anything. 
only you make money, we take some cut. Shipping to China, we're using uh, you know, we have uh, we have we have we have we have, we have so many uh like partners taking care of uh, fulfillment. So uh, our you know delivery is is a secure, fast, and then uh, price competitive, which is lower the you know total cost for Chinese customers. The shipping time, it's a seven seven to ten days. Really depends on you know the time. If a, I mean, if it's um if it's Chinese like you know, festivals like holiday, the time definitely will just uh, go a longer than than ten days. But uh um like in in the normal case, um the shipping time is gonna be like ten days from the day. Uh, we receive your products in our warehouse in Delaware to the end customers. It's going to be like seven to 10 days, working days, business days. So here is the, you know, uh, two videos I'm going to help. I was going to play uh, for you, but, um, you know, YouTube actually is, is prohibited in China. When I play, I probably cannot play. Uh, we have firewall here, which means Google, like Facebook, YouTube, I can't really ac access um, uh, from my end. So I really encourage you guys just to go online, go YouTube, type in Pity Baba. You will just uh, you know see these two videos. So I have to apologize, you know, right now because I I just uh, I can't I can't I can't play that video. I I already tried, but uh, you know. It's just uh, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work. So here is some um, here is I'm going to show you how to how to like how to integrate how to download our PD Baba uh, API from a, from a, from a X card. Very simple, just a few steps. You go to your admin uh, area. You type in your address, your password, just like you know a normal login. You go to marketplace right here. You just go type, go ahead, type Ipili Baba. You go search. You will see Pili Baba Chinese checkout right here. And just go ahead and you know enable it, install it. That's it. Very simple, very easy. And then after you integrate our API, send us an email. So we can know that you already uh, integrate with with our service. So we can help you, you know, from marketing part, from a, like you know, um, customer service part. You know, we we can just uh, go ahead and launch our project with you. Or you just uh, go to your payment settings. And right here, search Pili Baba, and you will see it. And just to go ahead and enable it, you know, in integrate it, and then um, you're 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 going to use our Pili Baba service right away. 